Hey, beer tubers, welcome back to another episode of San Diego Beer Vlog. Thanks for joining me once again. Today's beer is going to be a very local beer to me. This is a uh, release from Iron Fist Brewing Company here in Vista, California, and this is Velvet Glove, their Imperial Stout. So we're going to take a look at this one. This one came back, I believe, back in either November or December. I can't quite remember. But it's a 9% Imperial Stout. It's actually a oatmeal Imperial Stout. They use a lot of oatmeal in this one to try to keep it nice and creamy and, and smooth. So, and like with all of Iron Fist beers, they're all bottle conditioned beers. And so, I mean, you can tell on this head, look at the head on this thing. Just tons of small bubbles, getting two fingers in this glass. Just a nice uh, kind of light brown, kind of mocha colored head. Uh, real nice. The beer is absolutely pitch black, as it should be for an Imperial Stout, especially one at 9% ABV. So let's get the aroma on Velvet Glove. Uh, you definitely get some nice chocolate notes. Uh, there's some of that roast malt character in there as well. This bottle's been aging for a little bit now. I'm not getting any alcohol in the nose. Um, you do pick up some of the uh, oatmeal. You kind of get like a nice kind of oaty creaminess kind of aroma to go with all those other flavors. It's very nice, soft kind of aroma on this beer. So uh, let's dig in. Cheers. Yeah, first thing you'll notice that this beer is very creamy. Now, that's really nice. Uh, a lot of Imperial Stouts generally don't have oats in them, and oats will really give a nice creaminess to a beer. And this one doesn't drink kind of like typical Imperial Stouts that you'll see. I actually see some legs on there. But it's real smooth. I mean, there's just a tiny touch of alcohol on the back end. For me, I'm getting a little more like chocolate up front. And then kind of some roasted malts. As those kind of roasted malts fade, it kind of turns into kind of coffee, kind of mocha creaminess um, in the finish. And it's a, it's a nice finish. A little bit of a lingering kind of coffee, almost mixed with like a little bit of like caramel notes in there too, like maybe like a toffee. Um, also getting some, some nice fruity yeast esters in this beer as well. And I know uh, Iron Fist, if you saw my video, they do brew a lot of Belgian style beers. This is not a Belgian style beer at all. This is a, uh, you know, traditional, probably English yeast they're using for this beer. I don't know, I'll have to ask Brandon, the, the brewer, uh, what he's using for this one. I don't think I ever did. But um, I'm getting a nice kind of fr fruity character to go with the, the other notes. So as I sip on this one more, the uh, the chalk character kind of initially got starts to fade away, and, and the the fruit kind of character, which kind of lends to be just kind of that kind of mid range. It's not quite a light fruit, not quite a dark fruit character. It's something you typically see with like uh, English, British uh, yeast strains, kind of appears more. The coffee kind of stays with you in the finish. Still get really nice creaminess. The mouth feels really nice on this one. Um, it's medium to full body beer. Um, the carbonation's about spot on. I was kind of worried about maybe being a little over carbonated, but definitely not. It's it's very smooth mouthfeel, and the, the creaminess that the oats give to the beer is just really nice. So I'm gonna give this one a B plus. It doesn't quite have some of those you know really awesome bold flavors you can sometimes get with some uh, the really upper echelon kind of imperial stouts but like it's a nice like smooth kind of drinking stout with a nice bit of alcohol kick this is a real nice beer and they ended up brewing a similar recipe batch it's gonna be slightly higher ABV I believe called Dark Days that's been sitting in some bourbon barrels for or and, and maybe even brandy barrels I forget if it's both but uh, that should be coming out here in April, probably towards the end of the month, I'm guessing, because I haven't heard anything about it yet. But they're doing a, it's probably going to be draft only, uh, kind of version of Velvet Glove they've been aging in those barrels for six months now, I believe. So, really looking forward to that one. Get 
I mean, this beer, add in some bourbon character, get some vanilla notes going, some wood. Yeah, it's, it should be a great beer. So looking forward to that one. So it's going to wrap it up for Iron Fist and their Velvet Glove Imperial Stout. Until next time, please comment and subscribe. Cheers.